Right now, we're joined by Samuel Chigomi with the African Materials Research Society. Samuel, thank you for being with us. Thank you. Your organization preparing for your ninth international conference in 2017. So what will some of the topics be covered at the conference? Okay, so we're going to be looking at uh, areas like uh, materials for water purification, materials for health, materials for energy, materials for construction. So basically, it's looking at uh, the use of materials for the development of uh, Africa. That's what I'm going to be looking at. Infrastructure materials. Yes, yes. Why is that an important topic specific to Africa? Okay, so what is happening now is that uh, in Africa, we have a lot of uh, materials that are abundant. We have a lot of natural resources. So right now, we're looking at uh, how materials research can take advantage of the materials that we have to develop uh, alternative uh, solutions for the challenge that we have in Africa. There's a need for that, I yes, imagine. Yes, definitely. Uh, beyond the technical components of the conference, what are some of the highlights that a visitor to Botswana can expect? You said you're from Zimbabwe. Yes, originally I'm from Zimbabwe. So it's, actually, Botswana is a very interesting country. Why is that? Um, the northern part of Botswana, we have uh, lots of elephants. So if you've never seen an elephant, that's the place to be. Actually, that's the place that you can see most of the elephants in Africa. So it's quite interesting if you go there. I'll bet it is. Uh, tell us about the importance of the African MRS to Africa as a whole. Okay. So, as I mentioned earlier on, uh, Africa is a continent that is, has got a lot of uh, natural resources. It's got uh, a lot of uh, materials. Mm -hmm. You might find that, uh, for example, you can have waste materials that are not being utilized. So the idea that is, is that uh, if we have a way of making sure that people have a better understanding of the characteristics of materials, they can be able to manipulate the materials to come up with a, a wide range of products that can be used to address the challenges of uh, Africa. So in particular, if you look at, uh, at Botswana, uh, us as, 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 as Bitri, where I, I'm working, it's a National Research Institute of Botswana, that's uh, just about three years old. So the idea that is there is that um, if we're able to bring this conference to, to, to the southern part of, uh, of Africa, you can uh, create an environment where people can network and learn more about the materials. And also at Bitri, we've set up a Center for Material Science, mm -hmm. which is open to the region. So, so what you want is to create an environment whereby people can all come together, use our facilities, and uh, come up with ways of maximally utilizing the materials that we have on the African continent. So that's the thing in mind, uh, having the conference in, uh, in Botswana. Speaking of that, the ninth International Conference of African Materials Research Society, if someone's interested in attending, where can they get more information on this? Okay, so our website is going to be up very soon. Okay. Uh, so we are working on it, we are finalizing it. I'm hoping that by the end of this year, we should have the website up and running, where people can start see, having a look at it, see the topics that are coming up, and then have to save the date. Otherwise, it should be coming up very soon on the website. You said this is your first time. It's the first time. To an MRS event. Yes. Uh, welcome to Boston, first of all. Are you looking forward to making a lot of connections? And is it important for African researchers to make connections globally with other researchers? Definitely, definitely. Why is that? Because what is happening is that uh, collaboration is very important. You can't work on your own. So you find that uh, as long as you have a network where you can be able to look at different components of your research, you can be able to move forward. So it's very important to make sure that people need to globally. Samuel Chigome, yeah. thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right. Okay.